guilty of malice murder as alleged in count one of the indictment. Well, it's not over yet for Lynn Turner, convicted last spring of poisoning her husband with antifreeze. This week, as Turner began to appeal that conviction, she was indicted for killing her boyfriend, Randy Thompson, the very same way. Both men hoodwinked into big money life insurance policies and an antifreeze cocktail, as were their families who trusted Lynn Turner as one of their own. Joining us from Atlanta, James Turner and Linda Hardy, the brother and sister of the first victim, Glenn Turner. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I will never forget this case. We followed it closely on Court TV last spring. An absolutely chilling case of a woman who allegedly t killed two men in the same way. I've often wondered if it would have been the perfect murder if she had only done it once. After all, killing him with antifreeze, it was not detected at the time. It wasn't until the second time around uh, that she was detected. Linda, let me begin t with you. What's your reaction to the second indictment that's just come down I think it's long overdue um, I hope that uh, some justice comes out of it not only for our family but for Randy's family um, we did get the murder charge for my brother but it's not over until we complete the whole story and that includes Randy well, we know that in 1995, Glenn Turner died. He was the husband of Lynn Turner. In 2001, Randy Thompson died. He was the boyfriend of Lynn Turner. Suspiciously similar circumstances. James, how was the connection made between these two deaths? She actually, <clears throat> when I say she, Lynn actually made the mistake of coming to a car dealership to want to borrow or a car, get a loaner car to go to Randy Thompson's funeral with. And it was a mutual acquaintance there that was able to find out about Randy's death and notify the family, um, the Turner family, about it. Wow. You know, the circumstances of this case show so shocking, so chilling. Have you become close with the family of Randy Thompson? Absolutely. I mean, it's we've just made one big family. We all feel like we're just all, you know, brothers and sisters and new moms and dads all, all the way across. Linda, during the trial that we saw last spring, that of the murder of Glenn Turner, your brother, uh, did you sit through that trial? Yes, ma'am, I was there and I also had to testify at the trial. I was there. I missed a little bit of it, um, but I was there 90 percent of the time as much as I could be, and I did testify. Was the Randy Thompson family present for that trial as well? Absolutely. Um, we were there supporting each other the best that we could. Um, they've been there for us the whole way, and we intend to be there with them until the end. Well, that's exactly where I was going, of course, at the trial of Randy Thompson. I'm sure that you will be there. Tell us a little bit about Lynn Turner. After all, she was a family member of yours. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, she was definitely a family member. Um, you mean like her personality? Yeah, what kind of a woman was she? I mean, we look at her as this cold-blooded killer, a woman who would poison her own husband and then her boyfriend a few years later with antifreeze. To you, how did she come across? She um, liked to be the center of attention. She was um, always in the know, always busy, cell phones, pagers, yeah. friends, running constantly. Um, she didn't have a whole lot to do with the family after they got married. It was kind of like things cut off. Before they got married, she did work for me temporarily um, at First Southern Company when I was the manager there. And things were going pretty good, but once the ring got on her finger, it, things totally changed. How and so? She, she uh, didn't participate with the family. Glenn would still, you know, come around for holidays and whatnot. We would see her occasionally. She was always busy. She always had somewhere to go, someone to see, something to do. Mm. Um, so she didn't have time for our family, and she really didn't like him being with us that much. But we were a very, very close family, and she really, she really hurt us. Well, that's always a danger sign if she doesn't want him to be with his own family. Uh, James, I remember from the trial that we covered, there was a certain preoccupation on her part with money. Prosecutors say she killed for life insurance. Uh, did you see any greed on her part when you knew her? Well, believe it or not, there there wasn't. She was actually very free-hearted and free-giving. And I mean, you could ask for anything or ask her to do anything for you, and she'd be the first one to try to help you. It, mm. She was just not the what you would suspect of a person that would do something like this. 
It takes a certain amount of arrogance, though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I, I think it does. It, it, you have to have a lot of gall to, to feel like you can get by with a perfect murder. I got to tell you, Linda, what would you seek for ju what kind of justice would you seek for her if it were up to you? I have been asked this question and I've pondered it and I have come to the conclusion that number one, I don't want her to be killed in jail. I want her to sit in that cell for the entire rest of her life and think about Glenn, think about Randy, think about his brother, their brothers and their sisters, their moms and their dads, her own children, her family. I want her to think about every person that she has hurt. I don't want, killing her is too easy. That's uh, an easy way out for her because then she doesn't have to think about anything. Yeah. But I want her, I would love for her cell to be plastered with their pictures so she can look at them every day and she can see what she took away from us. Mm -hmm. Because not only did she take away a police officer, she took away a brother, a son, an uncle, you know, she took a lot. She took our hearts. And whether or not she you knows she still has a heart left, somewhere in there she's got one. So one day her conscience is going to bother her. And I want her to think about them every day. Randy also has a son too. And I want her to think about him from his, from his first wife. I want her to think about all of those people. Linda Hardy, James Turner, our condolences for the loss of your brother, Glenn Turner. Thank you so much for joining us. Up next, an exclusive interview with the best friend of...